Hey, this is Joe, and I'm here with another product review. It's been a while. Uh, been taking some time off, been busy with some other stuff, been doing a lot of writing, uh, but thought I'd come uh, back with a product review of the new 2018 Specialized Fat Boy. Um, this came about as a warranty replacement for my 2015. Uh, if you are a follower of my channel, you'll know I put a review out a couple of years ago on the 2015 Fat Boy. Loved it, and um, uh, loved it a lot, and uh, ended up actually, unfortunately, breaking it. But um, Specialized replaced it with this, and uh, thought I'd uh, kind of give you the rundown of what's changed. Um, so effectively, uh, a couple of great things that have been happening now uh, since fat, uh, fat bikes have become more and more popular is the price has come down. So I think the MSRP on the 2015 Fat Boy that I had was at $2,100 price point. Uh, MSRP on this is $1,800. So, um, and I'll explain. I don't think that that a reduction in, in quality. Uh, I actually think that the manufacturing has has, has uh, gained enough efficiency uh, that that the um, um, prices yeah, can come down. That maybe a couple of things. But first, a uh, couple of different things uh, with the uh, different things on the uh, frame itself. Uh, the frame is still this frame is an aluminum uh, M5 aluminum uh, alloy uh, frame. It does have the carbon uh, front fork, the fact uh, carbon, uh, which was the same as the 2015. Um, the difference, I would say, is the, um, the tubing is a little bit different here. And uh, overall, this bike ended up being about three pounds lighter than my 2015, once all set up tubeless and, um, and you know, app comparing apples to apples. Um, but I think that through the top tube here, it's a little bit thinner, um, and then through these, um, uh, the rear uh, upper triangle here, uh, that's a little bit thinner as well. So um, I'm optimistic that that'll um, provide some strength. Hopefully, it'll remain. It'll uh, provide enough strength for me. Um, but those were a couple of the changes. Then the other big changes that they did to the frame is that both front and rear, um, uh, the there are through axles uh, on both. So. Uh, the, the previous, the 2015, was uh, quick release, um, so um, this should help with some of the stiffness um, and provide a little bit more performance with this bike. Otherwise, a couple of the other changes uh, and upgrades. Uh, the wheel set is a, a newly designed wheel set for Specialized. Um, they are uh, lower profile. They're much easier to set up tubeless. Um, and uh, are a lighter, uh, lighter wheel set. So when I talk about the overall weight uh, drop, I think part of it was in the wheel set. Part of it, I think, is in some of the aluminum. Uh, that's my guess. These are not facts, but these are my guesses. Um, so I think part of the, the benefit there was a uh, weight gain. Um, I made some changes to it, so it does not come with the Phenom seat, but I, that's what I prefer. I have that on all my bikes, uh, so I just swapped that out. Um, and then as well as the brakes, um, they. Um, the the bike comes stock with a Shimano or a SRAM um, uh, brake set uh, rather. Um, it's a level T, I think. Um, but I put Shimano XTs on here. Um, I just I just prefer that for the stopping power. Again, I have those on my mountain bike as well, uh, and I and I just I'm used to them, so I swap those out, those two things out. Uh, one of the other changes that came with the 2018 is that this is. Now a one by system, it's a one by 11, um, which I didn't really want for my mountain bike because I have a lower cadence and um, that would cause some issues when I go gravel riding. Uh, on a fat bike though, um, it's been perfect. It's been fantastic. You know, you're not typically uh, riding as, you know, at 22, 23 miles an hour. Uh, so for me, a cadence, uh, the cadence issue is not a big deal. And I've actually liked it. It's very simple, uh, very clean. Also, I think another spot where they uh, were able to save some weight by obviously not having the left-hand shifter and the uh, front derailleur. Uh, so that is uh, the 2018 quick view uh, review of the Specialized Fat Boy, and I've been, been enjoying it so far uh, and have been able to notice the difference in some of the upgrades and um, would encourage you to take a look at it if you're looking for a fat bike.